My striper bent my hook, so I decided right where the bend was, I heated it up and uh, made more of a bend on it and just uh, threw it on my hat. And now it's kind of like my my lucky hook um, just because I love striper fishing so much. Uh, I had to put it on my hat, so now... Okay, the striper are still in the Sacramento River system. Um, they're running a little later this year than last year is because um, the water levels. Last year we had super, super low water levels. Uh, that's what destroyed the salmon population. But this year it's extremely high, um, especially compared to last year. So that's why these fish are staying in the system a lot longer. Um, so if you uh, need to need to get on a striper, I would say from night's landing all the way, probably around to the delta uh, is still still doing good. Um, Maybe try some uh, sardines or chicken liver nighttime. I heard they're still catching them pretty good at nighttime or early, early mornings, but I heard nighttime's really good. And if you're uh, throwing a lure out, um, definitely try a nice big dark worm at night um, and just cast that out, let it go down to the bottom. Maybe try a few different colors on the tail that have that body, uh, dark body. Um, also try some sardines or chicken liver I just toss it out there you know and uh, keep it on your pole and you might hook up on some uh, some nice large striper right now because these the uh, shad are definitely moving in um, shad are pretty much thick in the system right now um, and it's only getting better for the shad um, so if you're out catching a striper um, might want to set up a shad shad rig too um, because they are here and uh, they're really good eating too. Um, one way to, to not to get by the bones on the shad is you could poach it um, which means just boil it really slow and uh, supposedly I've never tried it but supposedly that dissolves the bones um, so if anybody's tried that uh, let me know and let me know if it actually dissolves all the bones or you could uh, try to smoke it and uh, that's what I've heard that's really really good too is uh, smoking it just like salmon or, or trout um, so you kind of cook it somewhat similar to that all right guys stripers throw your nice big swim baits out um, you could throw some jerk baits uh, always just be careful when you're throwing jerk baits for snags and stuff with all them triple hooks uh, that's why I really recommend throwing the worm out with like a Texas style rig on there uh, a lot less snags and uh, catch some record, record sized fish on there guys and just super, super fun um, once you hook those things on. They just, they just pull like a train. All right, the water conditions on the Sacramento River, uh, it's definitely dropping like crazy. Um, it's, it's clearing up not, not very much, very, very slowly. And the water temperature is rising very slow, so that's another reason why these fish are staying in the system longer. The water's not uh, warming up as fast as it normally does. Um, so that's good for us out there fishing. Uh, just get out there as much as you can. Um, if you're not catching them on lures or anything like that, try, some, try any kind of baits. Try all different colors of lures. Just, just keep trying different things um, if you're not having any luck. But good luck to you guys out there. And out. The water is a little little dirty for this time of year. Um, it is starting to clear up and the water is dropping um, pretty good. They stopped letting so much water out of the dams. Um, so that's why it's dropping so much and the temperature is starting to rise. So uh, get out there as much as you can right now because these striper are headed back to the ocean. Um, you, you're still able to catch some nice, nice seven to 10 pound striper right now. Um, and as for the shad, the shad are coming in as a striper going out. I mean, you're probably one to five pounds um, on the shad. 
you know, five being the biggest and one being the smaller. And uh, they're coming in thick right now, really, really thick. So if you like catching shad, get out there and go get them.